The group exhales in relief, primitive satisfaction gleaming in their eyes. In the shadows, a tiger crouches, eyes fixed on the unsuspecting Australopithecus. With a sudden leap, the tiger charges, chaos erupts. One Australopithecus screams, pointing, while the others scatter in panic. The tiger slams into a target, sending a large brown-haired Australopithecus tumbling. The rest cry out, torn between fleeing and fighting. All four Australopithecus dash through thick brush, branches tearing at their fur. The tiger charges behind, growling and snapping its jaws. One stumbles, but another grabs his arm, pulling him back to his feet. Two brave Australopithecus face the beast, wielding long sticks and rocks. They scream and strike wildly, hitting the tiger's flank until it turns and flees. The injured tiger bolts, limping away into the jungle. For enraged Australopithecus pursue it, stones in hand, roaring in fury. One hurls a rock that narrowly misses the tiger's back. A wide shot reveals their chase across golden savanna and tangled jungle. Their shadows stretch across the ground under the blood orange sky. The Australopithecus gather around a fruiting tree, picking ripe berries and jungle fruits. One bites into a soft yellow fruit, juice dripping down its chin. They sit peacefully in a circle, chewing slowly under the leafy canopy. An elder shares food with a young one, offering it gently. The only sounds now are the crunching of fruit and birds singing overhead. All eight large brown-haired Australopithecus perch high in a massive fig tree, observing the jungle below. Suddenly, a flock of wild birds dive from the sky, attacking with flapping wings and shrieks. The Australopithecus wave their arms and grunt, swatting at the birds. One nearly falls, slipping as a bird claws at his shoulder. For large brown-haired Australopithecus move silently along a narrow trail in the dense jungle. Shafts of sunlight break through the tall trees, casting glowing patterns on their hairy bodies. Their large feet press into soft, muddy ground, leaving deep footprints behind. Dry leaves crunch beneath them while the jungle echoes with distant bird calls. One of them halts, scanning the trees ahead, alert, sensing something unknown. The large brown-haired Australopithecus gather stones and sticks near a fallen tree. Two begin building a shelter using giant leaves while others clear debris from the ground. One squats down, cracking a wild fruit open with a rock, its juice dripping. Their hands move with purpose, gestures and guttural sounds show primitive communication. The group works together in silence, bound by instinct and early cooperation. A large brown-haired Australopithecus hammers a tree with a sharp-edged stone. Another supports the trunk, ensuring balance as they chop in turns. Bits of bark fly off, 
Swift glistens on their hairy foreheads. With a loud crash, the tree finally falls, shaking the jungle floor. Panic sets in as the group shouts and tries to escape the airborne onslaught. The entire group clambers down the tree quickly, hopping from branch to branch in frantic retreat. The Australopithecus gather at a slow-moving river, drinking and splashing water on their faces. Two work on building a fish trap using sticks and rocks near the riverbank. A few rinse fruits in the current, checking for insects. Others squat by the water, watching fish dart below the surface. Young Australopithecus play nearby, while the elders remain alert. From tall grass, a giant black snake lunges out of the reeds, hissing. One Australopithecus is caught by the leg, screaming, as the others strike the snake to drive it off. All eight Australopithecus run from the riverbank, frightened and soaked. They sprint through muddy ground, splashing through shallow water. One carries a child tightly in his arms, refusing to look back. As night falls, the Australopithecus lie together beneath a tree, wrapped in leaves, breathing softly under moonlight. At dawn, the group spots a small antelope and begins pursuit. One throws a rock but misses, the others chase with excitement. The antelope dashes between trees while the Australopithecus run with focused energy. They fan out to trap the animal, slapping the ground and shouting. A final burst of speed, they close the distance. The group walks in a long line through dry savanna brush, back strong and upright. Golden sunlight shines on their thick brown hair and powerful frames. They move past towering trees wrapped in vines, their pace calm and steady. In the distance, a volcano smolders under the dawn sky, their journey continues. <laughs>